What is up guys, it's your boy Lexo, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be going over how Slime Me Out by Drake and Cesar, Cesar was made inside F4 Studio. Let's get into it. This project file is gonna be available on my Patreon, link in the description below. And also before we start, I should say this, I'm thinking of doing daily uploads. Um, it's just gonna be random daily uploads. I don't know which songs to go for. I'm just gonna target uh, the artists that I'm currently interested in, which is uh, a little bit of Playboy Carti, a little bit of uh, Destroy Lonely, Ken Carson, and um, what's the other one? Lou Uzivert, yeah, <laughs> how could I forget? Uh, those are the ones that I'm going to be targeting mostly. It's, it's going to switch over, it's going to be Lil Dirk and all these other ones, but I, I mainly just want to put out daily content for you guys because it's the songs that are coming out are so far in between. Like There might be other weeks and weeks where there's no new songs coming out, and I don't want to just let the channel you know, be dry and empty, and you guys have no new content. Uh, so I'm just gonna start targeting songs that I might have released a few months ago, a month ago, you know, maybe even last year, I don't know. But we're just gonna see and I'm just gonna keep uploading and I'm gonna try, try uploading daily content or at least maybe, at least a couple of times a week, not just, you know, two weeks of just radio silence. I'm just gonna try to do that. So yeah, let's see what happens. So this song starts out with these pianos and they sound like this. This is what they look like in the piano roll. I have a bunch of effects on this, but the main one here is the RC20 Retro Color, which is adding that wobbly feeling, wobbly sound that you're hearing there. Next to that, we have these opera pads. I'm getting these from Omnisphere. So together, it all sounds like this. Just adds that retro sound that 40 is known for. Yeah, just just adds that in the middle. Next that we have these analog chords, and they're pretty much big pads, and they sound like this. Yeah. So I should say this about these chords. They later they have a bass sound right now. They're the ones that are supporting the bass notes for that whole part. Uh, there's a part where the actual bass kicks in. I didn't want that bass to clash with that bass line with that 808. Is it an 808? I think it's an 808. Um, so when you come here, I have this automation clip. Where is it? It's over here, down here. I don't know why I put it so far down. Let's move it up a little bit. This automation clip here, it belongs to this parametric EQ2 plugin right here. Can I make this smaller because it's too big? Um, and it's automating this band, band number one, uh, so that it just like cuts out the bass line. Uh, the bass notes, the bass frequencies, so that when the bass actually, the actual bass comes in, it opens up, so that it sounds like this. You see, it just cuts it out. Yeah, so you'll see that in effect later when the bass comes in. Next, that we have this lead piano, which I'm getting from Omnisphere again. It sounds like this. As you can see, there's a whole lot of uh, wobbly from Valhalla Room here. There's also some movement from Somatic's Origin here, while it's, it's also taking out some of those uh, harsher sounds, harsher tones that hit. It's taking out some of the mid uh, high end. The reason why I'm using this is because this plugin was made with the inten with the intention of like mimicking the sound that 40 has. So it's really good for Drake beats. This is a plugin from Somatic's right here. It's really good. So all the leads, they all sound like this. So next that we have these choirs down here and they sound like this. So this is not the original sound that they had in the song, the original vocals. I have no idea where they got that from. I tried researching, I tried doing it all. I couldn't find it. So I just used this uh, library here, this vocal library called Olympus Elements. What I love about this library is it has these phrases down here, which allow you to change what the thing is saying, like here. You can click on this and then pick something else that it says, like an E or an O or anything else really. So if I make it say O, it will sound like this now. If I make it say uh, E, I think E is this one, right? E, it'll sound like this. So I then added an Edison in the mixer right here, and then I just hit record and recorded the parts that I needed. 
kind of like that and then i just dragged it to the uh, thing here to the playlist and from then on i just started cutting up and organizing it how i needed just went back and recorded another file if i needed an a i went and got it if i needed an o i went and got it if i needed an r and i just played it with it here uh some of it down here i had to play with the pitch because it was just copy and paste from this one down here and then just playing with the pitch so that it sounds similar so uh this is what all the vocals sound like now It sounds really good. Uh, all of it together, it all sounds like this. So after that whole part, we now have the sub bass, which sounds like this. This is just a simple sub, it's not even coming from any plugin, it's just a simple sign, uh, sign bass like this. So now you see that when the analog comes in, you see that the analog, this sound here which I was talking about before, it is the bass notes. That's shutting up, the bass notes are going off, I told you about this before. This is what it sounds like in effect now. You notice that it sounds clean, whereas if I take that off, if I just let it go with the bass doing its thing <laughs> of the sign analog of the analog chords here, it'll clash with the sign. Check it out. That's not good. Whereas if I let it in, That's a lot cleaner as you can see. All right, so moving on, we now have the drums. We have the rim snare here, which is a snare that sounds like a rim sound. Uh, I'm taking two different sounds and combining them together. We have this perk here, which sounds like this. And then we have this uh, rim sound, which sounds like this. And together, they have a nice thick sound, which sounds like this. Then we have the hat sound, and it sounds like this. This hat sound is moving in the triplet timestamp. I don't know if that's what they call it, but it's this one here where if you click on the magnet up here, you go and select one over three beat here so that it, you can place it within every pa, 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 if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain this stuff. You see? Yeah, so you have to come here and click on the third thing here. You, you can also click on the sixth, which will divide them, but I don't know, it's not necessary for what I need. I need this one here. So yeah, if you go back to the line or main or whatever, you see that it looks a bit haphazard, but that's just because it comes from the third here. So it's a third beat. And so far, this is what all the drums sound like. Then we have the kick. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much Drake's main part where he's doing his thing. Uh, that's pretty much all of it with copy and paste and stuff. So now if we're moving on to Sazar's part, if we go down here, you'll notice that there's these uh, Rhodes chords, these things that are colored beautifully here. <laughs> we have these Rhodes chords, which are the Rhodes sounds. I'm getting these from Omnisphere. It's like a, it's the Rhodes keyboard. And this is what it sounds like. So I messed with this keyboard a little bit. It doesn't sound like that naturally. I went here to the A side of the thing, of the sound generator, and I took off the attack because regularly it sounds like this. This is what it regularly sounds like. But I went and took off the attack like this, and now it sounds like this. And then I added hella reverb. Uh, there's reverb from Fahala, room, uh, from Fahala Vintage right here. Uh, and yeah, that pretty much completes the sound. Next to that, we have these epic pads, which I am getting from Spire, and they sound like this. These are the source of the lag. So, uh, I'm just gonna play the wav here. And all of it together, it sounds like this. And 
then it's also accompanied by this bass right here which sounds like this and all of it together it all sounds like this And that's pretty much the whole song. There's this extra parts towards the end where the, it sounds like it's doing some reverse things. It's pretty much that's just these instruments right here with the stuff and stuff here just reversed and stuff. I didn't. I was too lazy to do all that because <laughs> it sounds like it's just repeating the same process. Really, it's just reversing things. So yeah, that's pretty much how uh, "Slime You Out" by Drake and Sazar was made. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like. Uh, uh, comment what you thought below subscribe let me know what you guys would like to see in the future again i'm trying to do daily uploads so expect to see me tomorrow again with another video i'm gonna be doing playboy scotty song called i forgot what it's called uh wicked killers yeah that's that one is coming tomorrow so yes prepare for that guys don't forget to join my patreon check out the stems and the everything that i made here so you go join the patreon for that link in the description below and with that being said peace guys see y'all in the next video